All right, so this is the last torque problem. It's number 82. This is a lot more reasonable of a type of question to be asked on a test. Uh, number 72 is pretty hard. Okay, so this is number 82. And in this case, instead of having um, a table like legs, we have uh, like ropes attached to a beam here. Okay, and they're, they're holding the beam up. Okay. And it tells us that the, um, the beam is six meters long. So it's like to the center of mass is like three meters here. And then we have uh, two meters right here and two meters right here and one meter right here. And so one meter right there. Okay. And it says you have a 60 kilogram paint painter and it's on a scaffold that has a mass of 25 kilograms. So this alone right here is 250 newtons. Okay? And there is a bucket that is 4 kilograms. Okay? And it's off to one side as shown. So it is my bucket, here I'll move this. My bucket is right here. Okay? And the bucket is one meter from here, which is one meter from there. Okay? And the bucket is 40 newtons. All right? Now it says, um, can the painter walk safely to both ends of the scaffold? If not, which end is dangerous and how close to the end uh, can he approach safely? So this is pretty, should be pretty intuitive. Okay? So if if they're going to walk, so if you have somebody and he's walking, there's weight holding it like this, down this way. And then he's going to walk over here, and hopefully he's not going to tip it up. So, you know, if you've got the weight of the bucket and half the weight of the beam, and then as, you know, the little painter walks this direction, if he goes too far, then it's going to tip and he's going to fall down. Okay? So really what we're hoping is that if he walks all the way to the end, okay, so he is over here, and again, remember he's 60 kilograms, so we're dealing with 600 newtons again. Um, we're hoping, you know, from this pivot point that we don't produce more torque than the beam and the the bucket do. Okay, so we are hoping that uh, if we take 250 newtons for the beam times the distance from the pivot point, so that would be from this pivot point, which it would be tilting upwards like this, times 2, plus we've got the bucket here that's going to um, have a, you know, a downward force like this relative to this, so times 40 newtons times its 3 meter difference away from the pivot, distance away from the pivot point. We're hoping that all of that is big enough of a force in this direction that this guy standing over here trying to tip it up won't counteract it. So we're hoping that is bigger than 600 times 1. Okay? And so if we calculate that's, you know, that's 500 and that's 120, so we get 620 is bigger than 600 newtons. So yeah, he can walk all, he can walk safely, uh, or the, sorry, that's newton meters, right? He can walk safely all the way to this side. Okay, now we want to see, okay, well, let's see if he walks all the way over to this side, okay? So, again, in this situation, we're going to have this be the pivot point, right? And we're going to have uh, his weight over here on that left-hand side be 600 times 1, okay? And then in the other direction here, so pushing down in this direction, you're going to have, and we're hoping that this is greater than, uh, than the other stuff, otherwise he's going to fall, right? And so we've got, again, 250 newtons times uh, 2. Actually, sorry, we're hoping that this is greater than this, otherwise he's going to fall. So we've got 250 newtons of the board times 2 pushing this way, and remember his weight's going to be pushing the other way. And then we also have the bucket over here. So the bucket is going to be plus 40 newtons times its distance to the pivot point, which is 1. So in this case, we got 600 newton meters, making it tip this direction. And we've only got 540 newton meters, making it tip this direction. So he can't walk all the way out there. Otherwise, it's going to tip like this, and he's going to fall down. Okay? 
So the last part of the question is, well, how far could he safely walk? Okay. So the, the distance that he could safely walk is when he exerted 540 newton meters of torque. Okay, because we've got 540 newton meters this direction. So we're going to say 540 newton meters equal to his force, which is 600 times d, how far he can be from this pivot point. So in this case, we just divide 540 by d and 55, that should be 0.9, right? Okay, so he can walk 0.9 meters away from here. Okay, or 0.1 meters from the end, and that is the safest distance that he could go.